Yo, yo, yo. What is up, guys? Nick Nakai here, Let's Drift Media. Thank you guys so much for coming back to the channel. Today's episode, we're gonna be installing this Bride replica seat in my S14. So I've had this seat for a little while. Finally got the seat bracket or seat bracket mounting bracket mounting kit that came in the mail. I got this one used on eBay. So it's finally time to slap it in. So let's get started. We're gonna start by removing the old seat and then setting this bracket up and putting these little mounting tabs on the seat and we're gonna have to adjust it and kind of see where I want it to sit. So just wanna give a huge shout out to Angel, Red S14. If you guys need 240 parts, I believe he has a couple part outs going on. So pretty gonna be nice to have a bucket seat. If you've ever been drifting, you know you get like tossed around like a hot potato. So gonna be nice to have this to be fixed in place for the next time I take this car out. And also Works sent us these. Hand cleaner and degreaser is biodegradable and supposed to be really good for the environment. So we're gonna give this a good test run right now. Even though my hands won't be getting too dirty, I'll purposely make them dirty so we can see how well this stuff works. Uh, so tools we need for this should be pretty easy. Just, uh, just a 14 for this, holding the seat down. Uh, looks like we're gonna need a 12 and a hex socket. This is a T40, but I don't have my Allens here, so we're just using a torque socket for the side bolts on the seat. But we're basically just gonna mount these to these brackets like this. And then figure out where we want the seat to sit inside of these on how height or whatever you want to adjust it. So pretty straightforward. You guys really don't need a how-to video, but I'm just gonna kind of document it so you guys can see me installing it for myself. All right, so once you get the old seat out, just gotta take off the seat belt buckle if you're gonna be using your factory seat belt, which I am. So, another 14, make sure you don't lose all this hardware. And that's it, or unplug it if you still have yours connected. So we just cut this off. This one's like bracketed in there on the seat rail, so I'm not even gonna fuck with that. And I wasn't really using it anyways, so it's gonna roll like that. I'm just gonna put the seatbelt buckle in the new bracket now. We are halfway done. Just like that. Should still have some play in it. You don't want to just fix solid. That's where all the little bushings in there are for. I'm gonna just loosely mock them up because I'm not sure how I'm gonna want the seat to sit or if I even have the brackets facing in the right direction. So just kind of gonna do a test fit, sit in it, see if the angle's good and go from there. Oh man. Well, I put the brackets on backwards, so it's coming off again. That's fucking hot out here. fiberglass splinter or some shit. <laughs> All right, test fit number two. Put the settings on the lowest cause my head was super close to the roof and with the helmet on, that shit is not gonna fly. Got a cut on my hand from the seat somehow. I put the bandaid on like a bitch, but I don't wanna get blood on this seat. Well, let's see. Let's see how we're sitting now. Oh yeah, that's way better. So, little update. Got all the adjustments made. Having this one on the far most bottom 
this front adjuster on the second one I was gonna lift the front end higher but then my knees are gonna be too close to the steering wheel so they're already pretty close I'm probably gonna want to invest in like a deep dish hub or whatever they're called to extend the steering wheel out and probably replace the steering wheel this one's getting pretty trashed up but now that all the adjustments are made just gonna set it in give it a good test fit and we should be done this was a kind of a hassle but i guess that's what you get when you buy ebay parts or i'm not sure so let's install this bad boy nick nick hi. So we finally got it in. Seems pretty secure. Feels a lot more secure than when I just had the seat. The seat felt like it flexed a lot because it's a knockoff, but really won't know how the seat feels until we're actually at the track sliding around. So this was actually a little bit more difficult than I thought. We we're having trouble lining up the rail holes with the floorboard. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that or that's because I have like a cheap little eBay China kit. But let me know in the comments if your seat install was easy like that or not. Alright, so I didn't really get my hands dirty in this video, but I just went ahead and got them dirty just so I can see how well this work stuff works, so... Oh my god, there's a cap. What the fuck? There's a sink. Oops, that's too much. Really soft. Wow. Very clean. So overall, I give Works Products a thumbs up. Does the job. You guys should check them out. I'll leave their link to their website in the description down below. Thank you, Works. Well, that sums it up for today's episode. Thank you guys for tuning in. Once again, I really appreciate all my subscribers and all of you guys, everyone who leaves a comment and stuff like that, I really appreciate it. I read them all, and usually I'll give it a like or something unless it's something negative like that. But we got the seat in. I got a cover over it because I don't want the sun to damage it. So we'll be able to test it out hopefully soon when another drift event comes up. Once all this epidemic stuff is over, really excited to go out and drive again. Still have a couple other things I'm debating on doing. I also have a question for the viewers. If you guys think I should get another body kit and repaint it, because I have over fenders too as well and make it look pretty on the outside or if I should go KAT because I've been debating for a while if I should just slap a turbo on it because it is basically rebuilt with the metal head gasket so I'm sure I could handle it I'm just having trouble deciding what I should do make it look nice or make it drive fast so let me know in the comments what you guys think once again thank you and I'll catch you guys next time <laughs>